welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting down some special drills. Well, crystal rhinestones and special drills. So I have like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diamond paintings here of special drills. Special drills and rhinestones. So, yeah. I feel like I'm never going to be done <laughs> getting down the special. You see how many I do for my PR packages? I'm like trying to see if I can get my table straight there. Um, you see how many I do for my PR packages? You probably do. Um, if you're watching my channel. So, yeah. I will never be done. Well, it'll just be an ongoing saga. So I'm going to do... I do all my crystal rhinestones first and then I'll do my specials. These all of these are the ones that don't have a crystal code. If you see some diamond paintings, they do have the crystal code on them. But most of probably I don't know, 70% of the diamond paintings don't have a code, so I, I ended up using stuff with the code to get the code and things like that. I have since gotten a chart that has the code, but I'm, I still have to work on getting that to match what I'm currently doing, or if I have to make changes on my own stuff because I didn't do a good... Well, I didn't... Yeah, we'll see. It's If you saw my last kidding up, which was last week, because I'm recording this just immediately after, maybe like I took like a 20 minute break, that I was figuring out whether I wanted to redo my whole thing based off of that chart that I had gotten. Because, you know, I could be wrong in my color schemes. It gets, it gets pretty difficult when you yourself are the one making the comparison. So I'm hoping I'll be able to put, put that together at some point. I was going to, like, I did like this, oops. I did this momentary, like, during the break, I was like, you know what, I could make this chart, and then, and then I started going down some crazy rabbit hole that I was, that caused me not to continue the chart thing that I was planning, because I was, I was looking at everything, and then I was like, do I just keep it in the same order? Yeah, it was... So what I'm talking about is I was I was kind of trying to remake this chart here because I kind of think it's it's a little ugly. I wanted to make it um, prettier. I, mean, I have this other chart here that I was trying to do on my own based off of my crystal rhinestones and it's not complete because I was just kind of basing this off of what things I've gotten in diamond paintings. And some of these don't actually match the what's in this chart. So I'm like, who's correct? I don't know. I don't know who's correct. And if I just make one, one of them correct, then there'll be a correct one. Does that make sense? Um, so I was thinking of remaking this chart, but then, but then I kind of didn't like some of the, or, the order that these colors are in. So I was thinking of using this DMC chart that's by family, color family, to to put them in a nicer order. And yeah, so that was like, that was me going down my rabbit hole of like, suddenly now I want to do so many different things to change this chart. And that's why I didn't end up doing it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is what happens when I start like looking at charts and I want to make them my own things start go I start I start making wanting to do something completely different and then now I'm like I don't have that kind of time right now to do this rabbit hole kind of thing that I'm going through so you know what for now I'm just gonna keep with what I currently have and if I do make that chart 
It will be in the future. And not today, because yeah, once I started, I was like, okay, no way, I'm not going to finish this. I have stuff to record. I have stuff to kit down. I have to kit down. I have to have a kitting down every week just because if I don't have enough videos to kit down, I will just have a massive backlog of things I need to kit down. I already have a backlog of things I need to kit down. I just... I already have a big backlog of things to kit down and if I don't make sure that I have a video every week my backlog of actual things I need to kit down will just keep spiraling bigger and bigger and bigger I don't know about spiraling but yeah it'll just keep I'll just never finish let me just say that it'll just never be done and and hence why I try to I try to make myself do have enough to do a kitting down every week and sometimes I record more than one kitting down a week but then you just see them one at a time but that just that just helps me keep on top of my kitting down because if I didn't then I just have one too many one too many diamond paintings I need to kit down because <laughs> yeah let me just tell you I do a lot of these specials. I do a lot of them. And if I didn't keep up, I will never be done <laughs> kidding down. So. so I'm so I'm just doing the crystal rhinestones first. So these are the ones that are the same size. All well, the crystal rhinestones that are the same size as the regular round um, diamond paintings. And I'm just using color to match. I'm just like visually looking at the color to match them. And the reason I'm, I'm kidding them down in these bottles is if you've watched more than one of my videos you may notice that I do sometimes in my full drill diamond paintings or even some like I do sometimes replace my my drills with these crystal rhinestones the regular drills with crystal rhinestones so it does make it a little bit easier for me to replace them when I have them in these bottles easier to see than if they were just kind of in this here where I'm like I can't tell what I have while here I'm like hmm what blue do I need and these bottles really make good containers for them because the tops are clear so so then when I'm when I'm trying to think oh I want to replace the drills for this and this then I'll just go do it Because I, I kind of know, I know I'm going to have, I'm going to have drills. I'm going to just, I have so many of these special drills that I know I'm just going to have so whatever kind of shade I need to do the blinging up. And that's only in rounds. Unfortunately, I don't have <laughs> this many um, choices for my square rhinestones so for for those ones that I just so for those ones I will just work with what I have because there's not as many well I have I've done two square crystal rhinestone diamond paintings now so I do have a couple more colors for squares than I did before, but I just don't have the sheer amount that I have for I don't have the sheer amount that I have for rounds. Because most of the specials you're going to see the round 
drills and not, is this a clear? No, that's a gray. You're, you're going to see the more specials for the, that are rounds than squares. I don't think I'll ever see a square special unless I'm actually ordering a square special. <laughs> Like I said, unless I see a square special, I'm never going to probably have one. Unless I'm going to do a square special, I'm probably not going to have any spares. Oops, this one also. That's bigger. There. So this is white. So I don't have bottles for the white and things like that because I'm just never going to, I'm never going to use those to bling anything up, I don't think. Yeah, I think this is 82 again. I'm just, yeah. I'm never going to think, oh, I need to bling something up with white. So that's just never going to happen. But you do see the white and black in the special shaped ones because they kind of do well for outlines and things that actually need to be white and black. I'm actually, actually, what's it called? I think finding the matches pretty quickly now. Or I'm just getting used to getting down now. Or I'm just always like choosing the same colors. <laughs> yeah, this is one ninety five. This is black. Clear is one of the easiest ones. Okay, yellow. 23. I think I, I just have like these colors that it's just like, it's almost always that, so then I find it. So I think this one is 20. Or is it? it's, this one's this one. Because I think a lot of these special drills must use the same colors over and over, or there's just, you know, lesser amounts to compare to so or there's lesser amounts available of color so when they do the specials there's only so many so this is probably four okay pinks there's a lot of pinks since it's here. That's a light purple. Oh, 
Oh, that bag is full. Kind of. Kind of think it looks more like this one. I was like, eh, I don't know about that match. Yeah, now that one. Okay, green. I always think it's one, 189. I'm sure I've put in way more different shades of green in 189 than deserve to be in 189. <laughs> So I got all the ones that are in these containers here. So now I, a lot of my specials I don't actually kit up and I will just diamond paint them on. So like a lot of my specials are partials that only take like an hour or two to do. So I usually just kind of kit them up in this. And then after I'm done, I'll just put them in baggies. So those are specials. We'll do the specials later. So I might not need the so greens, blues, pinks, orange together. Yellow here. There's a purple. Well, this one will be easy. Black. for this since they're in the baggies they'll be a little easier to see huh there's no there's no um clear purple what about this one i think it's this one I need one tray to make sure it doesn't fall out. So let's do this orange. There are two oranges. Okay. I kind of feel like that one is that one. This one is this one. nice when there's not too many different colors to match to because there's only like I think like 170 yes it's still a lot there's only like 175 different colors but I kind of feel like some colors are more used than others I think this one is 22 But yeah, I think I'm going to remake my chart. It might cause me to recategorize some of these colors. But that's for the future, because right now, nope, don't have the time. Maybe. don't have the time because it was yeah my the 
making the chart thing was a lot more effort than I was thinking from my last kidding down video. I was like, eh, it shouldn't take too long. Nope. Well, once I started having plans to do the chart differently, <laughs> I was like, nope, that's going to take longer. So pink. like 65 that looks like 65 so yeah once I started thinking about doing my charts differently yep Everything takes more time. <laughs> okay, let's see. No, it's this one. green okay, I don't have space in there so many specials Probably diamond paint, like a whole full drill round diamond painting, probably with my specials if I just had good conversions for them, I probably could. Yeah. If that was something I wanted to try out. Yeah, this is 27. If that was yeah, something I wanted to try out, I could probably Go, yeah, I could probably dive and paint. If I just had the right conversions and things like that, it might be an interesting thing to try out. Nope, I think it's 189. I think it might actually, yeah. I, yeah, if I find one for for fun, I don't know. This is <laughs> it would just be one of those like, oh, you know, let's try out this weird thing I want to do. Blue. this one where I'm just like you know I have so many specials let's replace all the brown drills with specials and see if I do a good job doing it because <laughs> it'll be one of those like I can't blame the rendering because it'll be my fault if it doesn't turn out well because I will be the one who have who had chosen the substitution colors. No, it doesn't look like this one. It's like that one. 
I would I would be the one that chooses the substitution colors, and and also since I'm also kitting down a lot of these by eye, there's gonna be a couple shade variations because yeah I'm only so good at. color color combinations or I'm only so good at figuring out the colors Probably gonna go back to that other one where I was like it's darker. Like I said, I'm only it's only as good as my <laughs> combinations. Oh, this one, is this a blue or is this a purple? Kind of feel like this is actually a purple. It looks like that one. It's like it's such a dark color that it could be blue or it could be purple it's like such it's really dark but it matched more this purple one okay next one so I'm I'm like hitting down these ones in the baggies like periodically because I feel like if I don't do that I'm never going to kit them down so this one actually has a lot of specials Specials. That's all specials. Okay, there is. So clear. right next to me so let's do the pinks like let's let's do a full round drill one with my specials I'd probably have to find like a 30 by 30 to do that at first or a 30 by a 20 like yeah smaller one let's, let's not go too crazy let's not do go too crazy uh, maybe no no yep this is eight Might be interesting to try out. Okay. Well, my purples are right here. Let's see. Oh wait, these have numbers. <laughs> it's 102. So, have I been putting them in the right ones? I don't know. It doesn't match my 102. It matches my 103 more. So yeah, when I do have the colors, it is a little bit easier. See, this one says 74, and it does match 74. I don't have space in 74. So some of the canvases do have the crystal code on there. Makes it much easier 
to kit down because there's the number already. 27. That's assuming they match. But not all of them have the numbers. And I find the special shapes, sometimes they have numbers, but they're like not consistent, their numbers. So this one is 39. next set here. I kind of feel like I'm hitting this down really quickly. Or do I have a lot of specials? Okay, special, 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 special. Oh, I have this much left of <laughs> the black? Okay. okay. These are all regular drills. So the black I'm just making sure they're not the ones, these are like regular black drills and not the rhinestone ones that have flat tops on them. I don't know if you've noticed that rhinestones tend to have a flat top instead of a pointed top. The crystal rhinestone ones and some of my blacks end up having that same thing. And a 5200 here. I think I have like two bags of 5200 and they're both full. Might need to make a third bag. Hey. Okay. So I have red. This is probably four. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm like, I'm like getting through this one really quickly. I could always add another one. I do have a lot of specials though, I think. I could always add another one because my kidding downs are never done. Okay, any more that's, you know, purples. Okay. I think the blues will, the blue one will be easier, all of these other ones. Blue, maybe forty seven. should be able to find it. Yeah, it's this one. Let's see. Okay, now these. Okay. Will be in yellow. Yellow. This yellow one should be pretty. I think it's 22. It's either 22 or 23. Yeah. 
22. The silver backing does, I think, I think hinder the color a little bit. Like if you don't see them all like with it, with all the tops right next to each other, the silver can kind of skew the color a little bit. Okay, this one, this one's an orange. Kind of feel like it's 15. Yeah, the silver backing can really skew the top, like what the color looks like when you're looking at them because you see like a combination of the silver backing and the not silver backing. Okay, are these an orange? That's an, that's probably in brown. Let's see this one. This one is a strange one. Unless I see it in brown. Ooh, it is. It's this one. Like sometimes I'm like, should I put it in brown? Should I put it in orange? Some of these ones are a little bit trickier, at least for me, to come up with what it should be. Okay. I think these ones are going to be in brown. So this is 77. 78, I think it's 77, there, and light. Just my brown that I don't have a color match for. But that's what I'll use the chart for at some point once I figure out what I'm doing. What, if it, what am I doing? So this is 82. And the only reason I have all of these things, um, these color codes is because I do, I have had, you know, ones where the crystals codes are in there, like this one here. This is my, one of my crystal canvas art designs. And so I do have the crystal code in here. So this is a three. So I know what that is. And eventually I have done enough diamond paintings that this is where I ended. It can get difficult too because not every single diamond painting follows these and then you know if you've kitted down regular diamond paintings you have all those shade variations the shade variations so now i'm doing my specials i've done all the crystal rhinestone ones so let's do the specials all right so let's do Clear. I'm going to do them by color. So clear or white. So. Clear. 
So then I don't, if you've never seen my specials, I do have them in order of color and then, and by color and shape. So my clear tear drops here. Oops, those are my clear marquees. Oh, well, that one's a marquee, so I might as well do that one. I think it's this one. So then I have these in order of shape, and then in here I also kind of have them in order of size. Type and then size, like there's the ones that look similar to each other. So here's a clear teardrop. It's probably the first one because it's tiny. Yeah, it's these tiny ones here. These are actually like some of the hardest drills to place well because they're so tiny and there's only one orientation because it's, it's a teardrop. So white. Yes, it's the smallest color. I mean the smallest one. So next I usually do, next is, well, I'll just go by the box, red. Anything red, here's red. This red or pink, that looks like a pink. Okay, my one and only red is this red marquee here, which is this one okay next i have pink so here's a pink Here's a pink, here's pink, no pinks in there, and no pinks in there. Okay. Are these the same thing? Yep. Okay, so pink, okay, my pink marquees. actually this first one here so yes it seems like I have a lot of diamond drills already haven't in this video and in the previous one I did not end up getting any new things so I've already had them. So does that mean I've gotten every single special shapes that there is? Probably not. But I've done enough, I guess. There's still one more in here. Next in my thing is orange. Don't think I have any orange. Yep. Okay, next is yellow. So, yellow. I do put golds in my yellows. like that's in brown and not in yellow. Okay, so in yellow here. This one. Okay. So yellow. I know my gold drills are in the front. 
front of my yellow. So let's see here. This is this my isn't this like super blingy? It's these big drills that do tend to be like almost all the time they they give you like exact amounts. This is an anomaly that I have this much left over, I think. But if I ever need the big blingy gold drill, I have one. I have them. Okay, so next up is Okay, now None of these are the light yellow that's in the front, so the darker yellow, I think. So let's see. And this one. And is this the right size? Yep. Do I have any of this big one? See, this is what I mean. The bigger drills, you do tend to not have any left over. So here's the back. Oh, I actually do. No, wait, that's that's bigger. Ooh, it's this one. I only have one left of this one. So I think I got all my round yellow ones. So now marquees. Not that one. Is it this one. Yep. I don't actually have many of this one, so. Okay. Then teardrops. I don't see this teardrop. Maybe it's... Oh, here it is. Yep. Yeah, I get... So far, nothing. I have not kitted down anything new. Because sometimes you're like, ooh, this is new, I don't have that one. And then the special shape ones. So, yep, I have the flowers. So these are my, not any of the common special shape ones. So flowers. Flowers, hearts, and stars. Because normally you just get something round the marquees or the teardrop looking ones. Okay, so my next category is green. So here's green, green. And I, I, I think, why, why did I put these things in color? I think this was the rainbow colors, you know, Roy G. Biv. Except I started with clear and white and black. Because I don't think those are part of the rainbow, the black and the white. Okay, so green. Are these the same thing? Okay. Okay, those are light green. That seems lighter. That's a smaller one. Okay, I think it's this one. And then... Nope, I need the next bigger one. Yeah, it's that size. I 
there, and then teardrops. That's big ones, so it's probably the one in the end. Yep. Because I have mine in order of shade and then size. I'm also thinking I should just put in order of size instead of just shade and shade. So next is blue. I do actually have a good amount of blue specials here. I think all the rest are actually blue. Oh, there's a straggler green right there. Do I need more trays? Oh, wait, is this the same as this one? And that's the same one. So don't need a new tray. Oh, is this the same one too? Yep. So I have like more than one thing kitted down in here. That's why there's different colors. See, this is blue. This one is a red one. And that's a black. Okay, so I think I got everything from this one. So Label's not the most removable. See, the one good thing about if you kit up in the baggies, I just end up putting the label on top of the other label. I guess I could do that on these ones. I could always put the label on top of another label. I've also seen, well, I've also contemplated doing it, um, putting masking tape on top of all of my containers so that if the label is not removable, it should be fine because the masking tape will be removable. I just haven't done that because then I'd have to cut the masking tape. <laughs> I don't know. To the right size. And, and nope, I haven't been testing whether my labels are removable. I should. I used to. And now I'm just like, eh. If it doesn't come off, I'll just take it off with Goo Gone. But yeah, you if you're you're not like me who's just like, ah, who cares if it's not removable, you can always put some masking tape or washi tape on top of your containers and then just put the label on top of the washi tape and masking tape and then it should come off easier. It's just a matter of what do you find easier, putting the, at, at, making that extra step with the washi tape or just struggling to take off the labels. And then the labels I print myself, those ones, and then I put on these, those one, I print that on removable label paper, so I don't have this problem. It's just these ones where I just use labels that come with storage, and I have so much storage that I have not had to buy my own labels. And like Walmart actually has some pretty cheap removable labels. I should just get those. But I have, like I said, I have so much, so many labels from my storage that I'm just like, eh, I should use them up. But perhaps I should just save those for my specials that I put into the baggies. I'll just put them one on top of the other. But I haven't really been kidding up in these too much with these labels, so. Yeah, see, some of them come off nicer. And then whenever I test them, I'm like, oh, I put it on, and then I wait 10 minutes and I come back and I'm like, yeah, I can move it. But see, 10 minutes is probably not enough for me to gauge whether a label is removable or not. Because I think the newer it is, the easier it is to remove. The longer it's been on your storage, the harder it is to remove. And I think even, even removable labels have that same thing. Like if you've ever put like masking tape on something, and normally masking tape is pretty easy to remove, but then if you left it on there a while, the glue starts becoming, I think, more 
permanent the longer something has been stuck onto something. I've also heard that you can just get like a, a um, blow dryer and just heat up all the um, containers and it'll help make the labels come off really easily. I could do that too. I just wouldn't be able to do that in video because that's just too loud. But yeah, I'm just giving you options if you don't want to do the label struggle. Um, there are removable labels. So there's like, yeah, like I said, I've seen them at Walmart. They're like really cheap. I just, I just have so many labels that... I feel like I shouldn't buy them. Most of these. I'm probably going to go back with Goo Gone on these after the video. Alright. So these ones are all blue too, practically. So I need more trays. I'm not lacking in my trays. See, those are nice and removable. Now well, this one's a brown, but I have so... All I have left in here is blue, so might as well just finish this up. Need one more tray. See, when they're nice and removable, they're so easy to remove. Okay. My, my piece of paper here that I stick my labels on. All right, so blue, oh, and then here's some more blue. Here. Oh, this one looks, looks like this one, but it's lighter. What's up with that? Okay. So, No, no, not that one, no, I'm just looking through my blues here. Is it that one? None of these are rounds anymore. So my next one is Marquis, which I don't have that many of. I could just take this out. So ooh, this one. Yep. And 
this one. Yep. There. So yes, nothing new so far in this getting down everything I already have. So... I might just mix these even though I kind of feel like this is a slightly different color. I'm just gonna put them all together. It just is slightly lighter. Because it has an AB coating and I feel like once you start putting AB coatings on things, it... So those are the browns and next I have purple. Yeah, once you start putting AB coatings on things, they turn out actually very similar. So purple, I apparently don't have in categories. Or no, I do have in categories, never mind. It's my browns I don't have in categories. Okay. So that's this one here. I have this apparently in two of the diamond paintings. And, ooh, I think I've never gotten this one, unless I put this in blue instead, which I could have. I could see it possibly being in blue. Those are all like peacock drill ones. Yep, I ended up putting it in blue. Okay, see, I thought I had like something new, but nope. I just put it in a different color. Alright, I think I got all my purples then. And brown which I just kind of put all together. So round. Okay. So this marquee is this one here. I might check out yellow to make sure I don't have this one in yellow instead. Because I can see myself putting it in yellow also before I go make a new one. Yeah, put this one in yellow. All right. go. I what kitted down seven of my special shaped diamond paintings. So, and now I have two more storage free and I've filled, um, I have a whole bunch of baggies. This was from also from the previous kitting down that I just did. All right, that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!